All right, hello, baby boss. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a next 48 update for baby boss, sun moon rising in the north node. All right, this is going to be for May 12.13. So as I was shuffling, I saw the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card. So I'm getting you're going to notice a discernible shift in your life. All right, this is going to be a good shift. All right, so it's almost like I was getting this a lot in Virgo's reading. Everything goes back to normal, okay? So you're definitely going to notice a shift. All right, usually the Wheel of Fortune means uh, there's, there's a transit, a very important transit that's going on. Okay, that works very well with your uh, your natal chart. All right, so I'm getting a very important transit is coming up. You're going you're going to notice a huge shift. All right, I'm also getting too. There's going to be somewhat of a change in your schedule. Your daily routine is going to change slightly. All right, but it's still going to work out for you. I just heard good lighting, great lighting, or great showmanship. I just heard that out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm getting the lighting is perfect with the sun card. All right, you look radiant. I'm getting like good showmanship. All right, so baby boss. All right, sun, moon, rising in the north node. Okay, prepare for the shift. I'm getting it's going to be very smooth like. It's not going to be something that's drastic or overwhelming. It's going to be a very smooth shift. Like you wake up and the day has just changed or you feel a lot more calm. You feel more majestic, okay? You feel, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable, all right, so I feel like you are settling into something. Finally, something's finally comfortable. You finally found your footing. You finally found out what works for you. So I feel like you are finally going to accept something for what it is. This, this is where I live. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is my life. This is just what it is, okay? So you're finally accepting something. You're coming to grips with something finally. All right, so... You're going to feel a huge weight lifted off your shoulder. All right, all the anxiety that you have been feeling regarding a situation, your life, your job, it's just like I'm going to fade away because you're like, okay, this is it. This is truly who I am and what I'm doing. This is my life. All right. As unbelievable as it may seem, this is truly who you are. All right, so baby boss. Okay, let's see. So I'm getting a, I'm getting a trust fund. All right, or a certificate of deposit or money that's waiting for you. We have the nine of swords. Yeah, there's that anxiety that we talked about. So you're worried about this trust fund. You're worried about this money. I'm also getting to your, you're like worried about, you're, you're worried about your life. You're worried about life insurance. Okay, so you're, I feel like you're worried about things that do not matter right now. You're just worried about something. Yeah, there's that shift, the will of fortune. So all the anxiety about this money, about this insurance, about this trust fund, this, this certificate of deposit, it kind of just shifts and it goes away. Yeah, so you're not, so I'm getting you are worried about your money or you are worried about, um, you were worried about something kind of coming to a standstill. So I'm getting stagnation when it comes to, you know, your job, your income, your cash flow was kind of at a standstill for a little while. So you were very much worried about that. How am I going to pay for this? Or where am I going to get this money from? Or, you know, I'm not going to get this money again. But yet the money is the money comes back in. So I'm getting I'm getting a revolving door. All right. So your, your bank accounts are going to be replenished. It's a great day for sales. OK, you don't have to worry. You're going to get the money back. All right, what's the nine of swords? Yeah, we have the nine of cups. Yeah, so I'm getting you're going to get, you're actually going to get more than what you bargained for. All right. Okay, so let's see. What's the nine of swords? So you were worrying that something was taking too long. Maybe you, you were worrying that you were taking too long, too much time off, or you were kind of sitting on something for too long. No, it's the perfect timing. It's okay. All right, what's the nine of swords, please? So you're going to be able to sleep better at night knowing uh, that you have enough money to pay for something. All right. Yeah, we have the eight of wands and then we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, because you have a little bit of debt. All right. That, you know, you've accumulated some debt. I'm getting it's under a thousand dollars. It may be right at a thousand dollars or this is what you're afraid of. You're afraid of accumulating debt. I have so much debt. Oh, my God. I'm a thousand dollars in debt. I'm thirteen hundred. 1300 in debt, 1400 in debt, just depending on your vantage point, you could be a lot more than that, but it's like you're worried about debt and it's okay. You will be able to pay that off, okay, in due time. I'm getting it's actually better if you make small payments over time and just paying something off, you know, entirely. It make it looks a lot better on your credit. I'm just hearing this. I don't even know anything about credit, but I'm hearing if you make small payments over, you know, several weeks, it looks better uh, on a credit report. 
okay? Instead of like just paying for something out of a panic, you know, just paying off your debt all at once, okay? Because it, it, it shows that it, um, it shows some, uh, some type of routine, all right? Is for lack of a better word here, what's the Knight of Pentacles? It shows that you have some type of structure, all right? So I'm getting, don't worry about the debt that you have accumulated. It may be a lot to you, but it's actually not that bad, okay? You will be able to pay it off in small increments. All right, what's the Knight of Pentacles? All right. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, just let it go. It's not that big of a deal. The Knight of Swords, just do it, get it, or whatever. We have the Empress card. Yeah, so I feel like you're trying to furnish something or you're trying to purchase a product. It could be several products, but I'm getting, just go ahead and get it. Whatever, I feel like whatever you are purchasing here, go ahead and put it, go ahead and put it on that credit card. I'm also getting to your, 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 credit card, your credit card limit is going to be raised. They're going to raise your limit. All right, but I feel like something, you know, go ahead and use the credit card or go ahead and use the charge card. That's what it's for. All right, you will be able to pay it back. It's okay to have a little bit of debt. All right, I'm getting you're not overwhelmed or anything like that. What's the, what's the will of fortune? Yeah, because I'm getting it's a lot worse than what you, it's a lot, um, it looks a lot worse than it is, okay? The, the way that you're perceiving it is a lot worse than what it actually is, uh, baby boss. We have the Six of Cups, and then we have the Chariot, okay? We have the, the Hermit card. Yeah, because I'm getting like, I feel like you constantly check your banking accounts or you constantly check your credit cards or you constantly check how much debt you're in, okay? that's the, I feel like it's, it's making you a very paranoid, all right? Go ahead and get what you need to get for right now. You can pay that off later because I feel like something is almost done or it's almost complete. You're right at the end of something. It's okay, all right? Especially if, you're, especially if you are investing in your career or something that's going to, uh, like, boost your, boost your pay or, you know, um, over time, okay? What's the Ten of Pentacles? I feel like too you're worried about like your credit score or your uh, your work history or um, your your residential history. I'm getting that's okay, that's fine because I, I feel like you're worried that you won't be able to show income. And we have the devil card, or you're worried that you're spending too much money. But I feel like it's something that you have been waiting on. It's almost, I feel like I see you making like very small investments, but I'm getting whatever you are buying, whatever you are investing in, it's, it's something that's well worth the money. It's something that's going to last you for several years or several months, or you're going to be here for several years, so it's okay. So you could be putting money into a home, into a car. All right, I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of money into a car, but I'm getting if you're putting a lot of money into a home, you're going to be there for several years, or I'm getting your, I'm getting, it's not like you're wasting money on something that's cheap. I feel like whatever you are getting, it is quality. Okay, what is the, what is the 10 of pentacles in the strength card? And I'm getting, I'm getting you're not spending as much money as you think. I'm, I'm getting you're actually getting a really good deal on this stuff, or you're you're not spending as much as much as you think you are. What's the what's the ten of pentacles in the strength card? We have the two of wands. You're actually making really good choices, is what I was getting here. Yeah, I feel like you are able to uh, make your money stretch. You're able to get a, a, a you know a bang for your buck here. You're getting something at a you're getting something at like a bargain price. All right, so I'm getting your I'm getting you. It may seem like you're spending a lot of money, but I'm getting it's for good reason. And you, I'm getting you know how to recognize something, when something is quality or when something is worth the money and when it's not. We have the nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like you are investing in yourself or you're investing in your business. Whatever you are investing in, it's going to turn a profit. So definitely invest in yourself if you're in the public eye, if you're in front of people, if you're in the beauty industry. Go ahead and, go ahead and invest in yourself. Take care of yourself. Because I feel like you are, you are the product or you are the brand here. All right, so it's very, um, take care of yourself. What's the seven of pentacles? Okay, the queen of swords. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting something about professionalism, your professional image, all right, or business attire. We have the nine of wands, okay. What's the five of wands? Okay, yeah, we have the star card. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of internal conflict here about what you're spending your money on or 
about how much debt you have accumulated, it's really okay. All right. I see somebody too, like working on your debt, or I see you talking about debt or talking about credit. All right, of course you could dispute those charges. You could dispute uh, different things on your credit report. It's an easy fix. All right, but I'm getting it's not really a big deal. You don't really have to worry about it so much. You don't have to like, you know, be so anxious about this. It's really okay. Well, let's see. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, we have the, uh, the King of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like you're really, I feel like you're worried about something that really doesn't matter, like I said in the beginning of your reading. I feel like it's more so about your professional image, how you carry yourself, how you speak, all right, professionally. I feel like that's what somebody is worried about here, more so how your hair looks, what you're wearing, or, you know, I feel like it's all about professionalism here. And I feel like that's what matters the most. You know, okay, we have the king of the queen of wands, and we have the queen of pentacles. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting too like, I feel like you want to pay for something or you want to buy something, but I'm getting wait like two weeks before you buy, before you purchase that, or wait like two days before you purchase that. Okay, I'm getting you, you're going to be able to get a better deal or something's going to go on sale. Okay, one more card here. I definitely see you grooming, so you could be talking to your beautician or your esthetician about credit or about food, about your hair, all right? But I feel like someone's going to reassure you that you look fine, you look beautiful, you look radiant, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. So I feel like it's your beautician or somebody who uh, services you, all right, they're kind of like, you know, making you feel better about all of this. It's not really a big deal. It's not the end of the world. All right. Okay, the two of swords, and then we have the four of pentacles. All right. I actually, I just heard, I feel like it's actually a bad idea if you penny pinch. All right. Yeah, because the Two of Swords, I, I feel like that would be seen as selfish right now. Hmm. All right, give me, give me a life card or if like, I'm getting penny pinching in a certain situation will be seen as selfish or cheap or in bad taste. Okay. Okay, give me a life card for baby boss. I'm getting to like, um, don't be so open to investing your time, your energy, your money into someone who's not, who's not willing to do those things for you. All right. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so I'm getting like, put yourself first in a situation. Make sure you're okay or you have the things that you want, the things that you need before you try to help someone else or, you know, before you try to make someone else happy. Okay, we have ancestors and we have guides. Yeah, so you're going to find yourself talking to your guides an awful lot, okay, in the, up, in the ensuing days. Okay, a lot of advice coming to you about something. All right, but ancestors, guides, I love that part because I'm getting, uh, you're, going, you're being divinely guided to do something. So just know that you're making good choices. Your guides, are, your guides are going to make sure that you make good choices for yourself and that you put yourself first. Okay, we have bankrupt. Okay, interesting. So I, I'm getting that's what you're worried about. You're worried about losing your money or having your money taken by some means or by someone. I'm getting, I'm getting that thought you're... Um, you're going to be releasing that thought or that, you know, just the anxiety behind being bankrupt, being broke, losing all your money, okay? Because I, I see this coming to you while you're taking a walk, very small walk. I'm getting like it's like a, 
maybe like less like a mile or less but I see all this kind of coming to you while you're taking this walk it's you know it's all in your mind you're thinking about it okay all right and then we have recession okay yeah so I feel like you're worried about I feel like you're worried about the recession or you're worried about going bankrupt and it actually doesn't really affect you that much like you're worried about like taxes and shit like that. I feel like that doesn't really affect you all that much. You don't really have to worry about it. It's not really your problem. You're, you, um, you're going to figure that out, okay? Something is not as bad as you think, okay? Give me a star card. Yeah, we have backstage from behind the scenes, Okay. So I'm also getting to you're going to discover that something is not as glamorous as you think. I think we talked about this in another reading. I think it was Leo. You're going to discover that someone doesn't really have it that great. It's their, their life is not that great. It's not what you think. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, we have record label. Okay. And then we have copycat. I forgot somebody else came out. Another uh, person got that card. Okay. All right, so give me a love card for baby boss. All right, we have please come back. All right, so that's self-explanatory. Somebody wants you back. All right, so somebody may actually say this in so many ways or they, um, they may display this in so many actions. All right, usually they do. We have my boo or my baby, yes. Yeah, so somebody, I feel like somebody wants you to come back, just period. Someone's like, please come back. You know, you're still my boo, you're still my baby. I, I do, I still want to spend time with you. Yeah, so I, I feel like somebody's going to try to argue their way back into your good graces. Somebody wants to take you out or someone's like, yeah, I do want to come over. I do want to spend time with you. But I feel like somebody's worried about their money. So this could be the person that you're dealing with, baby boss. They're worried about their money. They're worried about going bankrupt or they may be worried that you only want them for their money or they may, they may not have enough money to please you or to impress you or something like that. We have familiar face and we have energy, okay? Yeah, so this is someone that you have been formally acquainted with. It's someone that you have met before or this is energy that you have dealt with before. It's something that you have experienced firsthand previ uh, previously. All right. Yeah, so the five of wands is usually someone who's like all talk. All right, because I'm getting like I'm getting like you actually want to build with someone, but they keep just like giving you the runaround or they're all talking like, look, man, if you don't want to build, if you don't want to be friends, or if you don't if you don't actually want to do this thing, I pre I would prefer not to even be involved with you or talk to you or anything. All right, because I I feel like somebody is avoiding bonding with you because they don't have money or they don't have enough or they they feel like. You know, they feel some type of weight around you, okay? Give me a significant time. We have three to six hours, and then we have one month, okay? So ask your question. Okay, ask your question, please. We have don't count on it, all right? And then we have you already know. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.